Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna do this. Today's video, I'm going to be opening this Pokemon Sword and Shield Lost Origin booster box. This is the latest expansion in the Pokemon TCG. So, without Puppy. further scooby ado, let's get it. Alright, guys, it's finally time. It's finally time. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Pokemon Sword and Shield Lost Origin. I'm probably a bit late to the party because of some IRL stuff, you know, busy, busy, busy work, that kind of stuff. Also, as of this release, which was September 9th, September 9th, um, our postal service, Royal Mail, in the UK, was having some industrial action strike stuff going on, so postal delays and stuff like that. I'm hoping I can get this out as soon as possible, but it's probably gonna be like a week late. A week late. But yeah, alright, so four artworks, I believe. So it's Piratina, Enamorous, Zoroark, and God of Our. So, as always, I'm gonna start with the left side, guys. Left side, first pack, first pack. Can we get first pack magic if I can even open it? Um, In terms of this set, Oh my god, this type is tight. Go. Oh god. In terms of this set, uh, in terms of chase cards, well, I'm going for the master set anyway, so of course, pretty much the whole set is my chase. But the trainer galleries, I think. Let's go! Okay, first pack magic, guys. First pack magic. We have a Radiant Gardevoir, which is quite badly centered. Here we go. And a hollow orbital. Yeah, so first by magic guys, um reading God of All. Yeah, as I was saying, chase cards. The trainer galleries. But also in terms of the trainer galleries, there's five of them that I want. There's the two Pikachus, the Pikachu V with red, and then Beauty Fly, and it's can. Wait, what? Nani? Error pack, guys, error pack. Double reverse. Wow, what? That's the first time. I just realized. That's the first time that's ever happened. Double reverse. Um. Pet. Wow. Cool, um, let's count actually. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, so I've got an extra in this one. Nice. Cool. Alright, getting into the third pack. Yeah, so Pikachu V from the trainer gallery. These packs are dodgy to open, man. Come on, what is going on? The Eternatus V and V Max featuring. Rose, I believe his name is. And then Charizard. That Charizard though. The main reason I want that Charizard is Wow. Another trainer gallery. Well not another one, but a trainer gallery in terms of Gengar. And I don't know if this is gonna show on camera, but can you see the cut guys? It's not gonna show properly. The back part is slightly bigger on the bottom right than it is on the trainer gallery. Anyway, Gengar, nice, and a right tree hollow. I mean Try to rare, regular rare, and then hollow. Nice. Yeah, and the fifth one is Charizard. Yeah, Charizard. I don't know if you guys can remember. Maybe if you're a regular to the channel, you'd know. Um, in one of my videos where I did the high five, London Pokemon World Championships 2022 Pokemon Center pop up shop. I picked up a Charizard statue. Nothing in that one. I picked up a Charizard statue. And it features Leon as well, so in that trainer gallery. Probably grade it. I'm looking to grade it so that when I do display that figure, I can do it like a double display where I put the figure and the rest McKenna. The graded card and the figure in like a sort of encased sort of thing, display case. 
Yeah. Oh yeah, that's my plan with that Charizard. So those are my five chase cards in terms of the main set. Not too sure to be honest. Not too sure. I mean, it would be nice to pull those old arts, Sponge Pro, and a Cure and V. Nice. As you guys might have seen as well as I pulled the Cure and V, has two sets of sleeves, one yellow, one black. I'm going for a new format in terms of binder. Um, high five, binder. I'm gonna call it arranging my binder, like how I sleeve it, stuff like that. Whereas I used to go by the color of the set. Now I'm going by the color of the actual card. So yellow with yellow, these are black, usually black border. The V stars are kind of like a silvery, whitish, iridescent, something like that color. Um, full lots of silver. Gold cards of gold, stuff like that. Here's the experiment. Nice! Here's our first pull up. Oh, this whole booster box is gonna be like off centered. Isurian, Pujo. Nice. So there we go. In this actual opening, you get to, you get to sleeve up all three different types of sleeves. Not too bad so far, guys. Not too bad. A pull up, a V, Radiant. In a gallery. Where do you... oh it's come flush, right? So I'm definitely not pulling out all in this then I guess. Will we pull a secret rare? I've seen I haven't really watched the videos, but I've seen like in thumbnails recommended to me. Chandelier Hollow. I've seen recommended the pull rates and stuff like that apparently. Looks like lost storage and pull rates. In terms of alt art and secret rares are terrible. And if that's the case, boy, it's not gonna be a good one for me since I'm moth setting. It's gonna take a lot. But again, I'm gonna be a bit money smart, money smart now with this stuff. Where I'll open as much as I can as or quite a bit. Hello Galastria and Relic Amp. I'll open quite a bit enough just to satisfy my opening kind of needs and stuff like that and then at some point I will just go single route oh what the hell is that yeah so I'm not gonna go too heavy now I'm just gonna be a bit more money smart with this just open when I feel like I want to and then first cholesterol open as much as I can get as much as I can and then just go singles until the new set kind of more or less but recently as well you've probably noticed that i haven't uploaded probably in about a month there hasn't been anything since during that downtime that's released that i feel like i want to open plus i've been sort of putting in more hours at work so that's kind of putting the time but yeah. i haven't had a chance or much time to record edit for that matter but there was nothing to pretty much open anyway there was hardly any releases until now and now with lost origin releasing i've got reverse rose rage manetric going on a dry spell i've got a lot guys i've got a lot to open a lot of lost origin to open a few other releases coming soon another pokemon go product that released very very late should have released ages ago but released very very late um and yeah from here from this month september till was a little i'd say november there's gonna be a lot a lot for now i think in september there's only first origin obviously um there's a Pokemon Go. I don't even know if those Pokemon Go Pokeball tins are releasing anytime soon because I haven't seen them anywhere. At the end of the month, the Dragonite Premium collection box thing, whatever it is. 
Oh wow, nice. Oh my, that is a nice card. Holy. Trainer Gallery, Galade V. I just realized, guys, I put in that Galade, which is beautiful. That Galade is really nice. I just realized. I haven't taken the time to appreciate. Commons and uncommons. Stuff like that. Like the hollows. I feel like I'm more gassed about trying to pull these kind of cards, but haven't even high five. Taken a glance at the like the that what I just missed there on that Fantino. If I can find another one, hopefully. Damage pump. Cross it. Okay, I guess on the next pack I'll show you guys. Oh take a closer look. As we're almost closing out on the left side of the box, which is decent so far. Decent. Fire. Miss Fortune Sisters. Mian Shao. Mian Shao. Lake Kuti. Spinneret. Litwick. Rosaleo. Rock Rock. Seal. Reverse Kingdra. And a Valplume. Nice. Because there's a hollow. Okay, there was no Lost Zone mechanic or Pokemon. And that pack. Maybe in this one. Psychic Energy. Right on. Fountain. Was a Raid. Meditite. Scorvert. Gligo. Penny Phantom. Pseudo Wudo. Nice. <laughs> Trainer Gallery Parasect. And the Galarian Perserker V. Double banger, guys. Double banger. Yeah guys, um, if you've been watching Lost Origin or if you've been collecting opening yourself, how was your experience with Lost Origin so far? Is your pull rates or have you been pulling trash or you've been pulling heat? Let me know in the comments down below. What, as my first booster box? I'm, to be honest, I'm satisfied with the pulls. Alright guys, as we get to the halfway point, I'd just like to... Kind of ask if you're new here, if you haven't already, if you're enjoying up to this part of the video, I'd really appreciate if you could like, leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications on for more. There's definitely going to be a lot of Lost Origins. I'm going to pump up quite quite a bit of the videos. Reverse Sun Chandelure, Makago. There's a Lost Origin or Lost Zone with that order. I don't know if I've seen it yet. I don't think I have. With the hollows. How would it look with the hollows? Anyway, yeah. Um yeah, if you enjoy if you enjoyed this far up onto this video, it would mean a lot to me if you could like the video, subscribe, turn notifications on for more, there's then there's gonna be a lot of lost origin. I'll upload on Mondays, Thursdays and Sundays. I open as much as much Pokemon TCG products as I as I can or as the things that I like I guess but in terms of nice radiant steel is two different radiants one box nice and I that very that release wow that's a nice double banger that's a nice double banger I always seem to pull hits as soon as I mention subscribing and liking and stuff like that always maybe I should do it more often Yeah, I upload Mondays, Thursdays, and Sundays. Not every day of that schedule, but if I do upload, it'll be on those days. Sometimes I might pull an off-schedule upload if I want to get something out as soon as possible, depending on what it is. But yeah, I open as much. Oh, that's a nice, cute Pikachu. That's like a baby Pikachu. A Pichu Pikachu. 
that makes sense. Anyway, yep, cute Pikachu. Phantom, Fiddle Rudo, Reverse, Diggle. I opened up all those um, V collection, that kind of stuff. Those premium collection boxes, V star boxes, most of that kind of stuff. Some things I skip, things that I feel like it's not going to be worth it. Also, other Pokemon products like st st collectibles, statues, anything kind of Pokemon related that is collectible or bigger. Like figures, I love my figures, definitely love my figures, which coming soon, guys, coming soon. There's a figure that I'm gonna be unboxing, which I can't wait to do, which should have been done a long time ago, but as I said, been a bit busy lately. Now I can kind of get back into the swing of things. But yeah, there's that, and yeah, mostly Pokemon stuff, a lot of Pokemon stuff. Reverse Lutlio and a Draper and V, nice. This is not too bad of a box so far guys, this is not too bad of a box so far. At least a full art of V-Star. Like, in a booster box, don't... I think you're guaranteed, not anymore anyway, I don't know, but you're not guaranteed those type of pulls. So hitting those is not too bad, I'll take that. I mean obviously in terms of the Pokemon that you want. High five, that's gonna be the one that matters more. Because that Fallout again could have been an all could have been, I don't even know what else is in the set. Pidgeot! Could have been the full up Pidgeot. But nope, Syrian Gujo, which again, since I'm a master set collector anyway, helps as a first opening. All of these, this whole opening, because it's my first opening, everything that I get, I'm gonna need. Apart from obviously the bulk and the stuff that's gonna come doubles, but in a booster box, you're normally not gonna get a boost, a double in terms of these or full up. Oh my days. Yes, guys. For my first booster box, I pulled the, the Charizard. I mean, this one doesn't look that great to be graded. As you probably see on the camera with dry ass fingers. Nice, guys. Charizard. Train the gallery. Adding nothing. Alright, guys. So I've pulled one of my chase cards so far. Nice, nice. Pulled one of my chase cards. Charizard Trainer Gallery. It's a Charizard nonetheless. It's Charizard Trainer Gallery, but still a Charizard with Leon in it. Spoiler alert. That's the statue that I'm going to be unboxing soon. And that's kind of what I want to grade that card, or at least get a decent grade to be able to match with that statue. I don't know, I mean, depending on how much I can pull, how many I can pull, that one doesn't look like it's gonna be a 10. Definitely one of 10, it's gonna have to look, it's gonna have to be perfect. How I envision that statue with that card and the display piece that I'm gonna kind of display it in. Has to be perfect, has to be perfect, so 10. Oliver Reverse and Harry Ados. I like the artwork. Seven packs left, seven packs left. Hmm. So, three Vs, full up. A V star. Definitely should be getting another V. One, two, three, four. Trainer galleries. Maybe one more trainer gallery, maybe. Electronic and a beautified hollow. Say one more V for sure. One more V for sure. Maybe a trainer gallery. And that's about it, maybe. I think average. For these probably 12 to 15. How many have I got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, so one more hit, definitely. If I'm lucky, I might get a couple more. Slugma, Clefairy, Reverse Lampant, and Mr. Mine. Almost at the end, guys, almost at the end. 
the thing is like opening Lost Origin and only two months away, two months away and the new set. Um, Silver Tempest. Yeah, Silver Tempest. Two months away and there's another set. So, nice. Okay, here's a first look at a Hollow Lost. Nice. Saved by Hollow with the Lost Zone Cloud or whatever the call is missed. And it feeds in to the thing. And that is cool. That is cool. Four packs left, guys. Four packs left. Will all these four packs have hits? If this is a lucky box or a stacked box, then it would have. But. Hmm. Not too hopeful, not too hopeful. Dotler, Panic Mask, Litwick, Snowball, Rhyhorn, Apom, Rosalea, Medicham, and the Aerodactyl V. The Aerodactyl O R. It's so damn beautiful. In this set, guys. But if I know my luck, I won't be pulling it. 100% not. If poor is actually what they seem to be. Definitely not going to be pulling that. I don't even think I'll pull any awards. Now that I think about it, like Brilliant Stars, I pulled one out of four, five hundred packs. I pulled one. Oh, uh, Astro Radiance. Actually, Astro Radiance was different. Astro Radiance was the best luck I've ever had. Reverse Danny Phantom. Oh, yes. Nice, Pidgeot V4, two full outs in this, nice, very nice, two full outs. And it's actually like, I would say my chase card, one of my chase cards, in the main set, the Pidgeot, I'm a gen 1er, so Pidgeot, definitely a good pull for me, I remember in like, the Pokemon, red and blue days, where, the Pokemon red and blue days, where Pidgeot probably stayed with me, throughout, until the Pokemon League, Using fly, stuff like that, flying around sounds. Yeah, Pidgeot was a, like a crutch in red and blue. Even till now, still a, still a high five. Memorable, po memorable Pokemon. Nice. Well, actually, this this first opening is really, really good. Really, really good. I'm happy. Silicone Buffalo. All right, guys. Last pack. Last pack. Um, after that, Pidgeot. I feel like there's going to be nothing else. That figure is probably the last best thing I'm going to pull. No secret rare, I guess. So, yep, no secret rare. Rhydon, Rose Ray, Pops of Disaster, Gumi, Meditite, Sporvet. Is there going to be another training gallery? Vigo, Phantom, oh, Polo, and a Banette. Alright. Time for a recap, guys. Time for a recap. Alright guys, so 13 hits, we've got Aerodactyl V, Drapion V, Valerian Berserker V, Kyurian V, how many Vs is that? 4 Vs? 4 Vs. Charizard Trainer Gallery, Parasect Trainer Gallery, Gengar Trainer Gallery, so that's 3 Trainer Galleries, Radiant Gardevoir, Radiant Steelix, and a Trainer Gallery Glade V, so that's 4 Trainer Galleries. Brilliant Stars was, you averaged about 4, 5 or 6 didn't you? I don't know, maybe this is average, maybe this is a broken box, you never know. Aerodactyl V Star, 2 Full Arts, Pidgeot V and Guja V. All in all, I'm happy with this box, I feel like this was a good box. To get 2 Full Arts out of a box, I think it's good. If I can remember right. But yeah guys, that was Pokemon Sword and Shield Lost Origin. If you enjoyed the video, if you stuck with me to the end, I'd appreciate if you could leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications on for more, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.